up guys and welcome back to my channel yes if you're new welcome but if you're already part of the peaches gang welcome back the newbies please don't forget to subscribe but hit the subscribe button subscribe subscribe please so yeah so as you can see um uh, today i'm going to be talking about how i got rejected i got rejected i literally got rejected it was painful <laughs> But I, I actually learned a lesson. Yeah, I, I got rejected. <sighs> okay, before I tell you by what, by who, I. I People have assumptions about me. They always ask me if I can if I can sing every time I talk, and then sometimes they ask me if I'm a model. Yeah, let's stop right there. So yeah, I was like, um, people are always asking me if I'm a model, and I'm actually not. Well, um, part time. Sometimes I yeah, when I choose to, I am a model. But then sometimes I'm like, mm, no, I'm not. So yeah, I was like, okay, why not give it a shot? Why not? become an actual model <laughs> and then I did a bit of research I sent um, pictures I took pictures very ugly pictures and I sent them to <laughs> I sent them to modeling agencies and I think I, got, I sent about to 10 no less than 10 yeah less than 10 and I got um, feedback saying, yeah, unfortunately, we can't take you, yeah, and stuff like that, blah, blah, blah. And then girl decided to go into one of the modeling agency's office. And yeah, on that, well, I set an appointment and yeah, um, they, expect, they accepted the appointment and they're like, okay, please come at 12 o'clock on a Friday. And I was like, okay, 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 let's do this. And it came and boom, there's no electricity by my house. And I'm like, um, okay, okay, um, okay. And then go decide to bath with cold water. I bathed and um, uh, I... I don't know, I'm a procrastinator, so I bathed and I was doing nothing, I don't know what I was doing, I was busy on my phone, doing absolutely nothing. Instead of getting ready, um, putting on makeup and stuff like that, I decided not to do that, I was, yeah, I just decided to be on my phone. So, 11 hits, I'm still sitting down, half past 11, no, actually I'm lying, 10, 10 hits and I'm still sitting down, half past 10 hits. And then I decided to be like, okay, let me get ready. Let me choose an outfit and put my makeup on and stuff like that. And yeah, as I was about to, well, I chose my clothes and yeah. So I chose clothing that didn't need ironing because we didn't have electricity. Yeah. Anyways, and then after that, I was about to put my makeup on, to put my face on. And then the person who was dropping me called me, asking me if I was ready. And I was like, um, uh, yeah? I lied. Yeah, I was like, yeah. And then the person I was like, okay, we're gonna be there in five minutes. And then I'm like, are you serious? In my head, I'm like, are you serious? But I actually told the person, like, okay, cool, no problem. And then after five minutes, the person came. I haven't put nothing, no eyeliner, no foundation, nothing. My eyebrows were as natural as they can come. My hair. <laughs> so I decided to wear this other wig. <laughs> there was a shot. It's a uh, short, short pixie hair. Yeah, and it, 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 it. it it looked horrible. It, it was bad. It was really ugly. It was bad. 
then so um to make it worse i didn't brush it i didn't have time to brush it and stuff like that or put all those hair products on it so i just ran out of the house because the person was like oh i'm outside i was like <laughs> what are you serious and uh, yeah i just ran outside <laughs> that time my zip is not closed my shoes <laughs> My shoes, because I wore um, ankle boots, they were high heeled ankle boots, and yeah, they yeah they were heels. Anyways, I yeah my zip was not closed, and yeah I get inside the car, then the person was like, oh, "Where are you going?" And I'm like, then I told her that I was going to um, a modeling interview and stuff like that. And then she's like, what? Are you serious? Looking like that? And then I was like, yeah, what's wrong? <laughs> and I knew exactly what was wrong. I looked horrible for that interview. Anyways, we, um, we drive. Uh, no, first of all, like um, the place was in, the place is in Senton. It's a place for those who don't know in the, the international watchers. Uh, it's, it's a yeah, it's a city. <gasps> it's not a city. It's a place. <laughs> it's a place in Johannesburg. Anyways, it's a fancy place. It's like mm, 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 fancy place. Anyway, so yeah, I put on my phone at that time was um, was off. Was already off. So then the person asked me, do you know where you're going? Then I was like, um, no, not really. No. Then she's like, do you have the address? I was like, um, yeah, I do. It's on my phone. But at least I had brought my cable and stuff like that. So I could charge my phone. I charged my phone in the car. And then now he's trying, we drive, we drive into Santon. And um, now we're starting, to, I start putting the address onto the GPS so you can direct us. And my phone started doing funny things, it kept on like switching off. I'm like, What are you doing? At that time, it's like 2 12, I think it was um, 15 minutes to 12, and my, uh, my appointment was um, at 12 o'clock. And uh, my phone kept on doing funny things and girl wanted to cry. I literally just wanted to cry because I'm like, why is this happening to me? I just want this to work out. Hopefully it will work out. That was me then. And yeah, I, uh, and then the woman was like, okay, let me put it on my phone. And yeah, she put it on her, on her phone only to find out we were um, further, like we were way further uh, from the place. And then we made a U-turn. We drove and we finally got to the destination. And I got out of the car, started ringing the bell. Ten minutes later, and it's already twelve o'clock. Ten minutes later, I am standing by the gate trying to get inside, only to find out that it is the wrong place. <laughs> Yeah, it was the wrong place, and then I got back into the car. I was like, ah, no, before I got it, uh, before I got back into the car, I went asking around, like, oh, do you guys know this agency and stuff like that? Then the person was like, okay, it's it's um two blocks away from here, and I was like, okay, thank God, because I yeah, shame, I was super late. And then when we eventually found it, I got inside the offices and I spoke to the receptionist. Then the receptionist was like, oh, I'm sorry, you late. And then I was like, Yo, yeah, I'm sorry, I got lost and stuff like that. And then she's like, mm, okay. Um, but unfortunately, um, the person can't see you now because um, they are doing an ad. They are recording an ad. And I was like, okay, cool, no problem. I'll wait. At that time, I told the person who was driving me that it's gonna only, it's only gonna take 30 minutes from 12 to half past 12, and now it's like to one. The person still waiting in the car. Then I went, decided to go downstairs. I was like, okay, so the person who was supposed to interview me is now busy. He's now recording an ad. Then she's like, then I was like, okay, don't you don't you wanna come and sit upstairs with me? Yeah, she came. We sat. We sat. We sat. Um, now it's one o'clock, half past one. This girl comes and her appointment is at two o'clock, and I'm praying. I'm like, God, please, can I just come? Like, can they just take me before her? And then um, the guy eventually finishes um, right before two o'clock. I think it was uh, five minutes to two. And that girl's interview is like at two, and she's like on point. She looks beautiful. She looks stunning. 
and uh, yeah the receptionist went to the guy asked the guy what should happen and here i am praying i'm like please lord please just take me please so yeah um uh, she comes out and she's like um next time please know where you're going before the day before the day you go to the before the day you're supposed to be going to the place like and know who you're supposed to be uh, meeting and stuff like that because when i got in she asked me um who are you who are you here for and girl don't know i don't know who i'm getting getting interviewed by i'm like um um i don't know then she's like didn't you call the person and then i'm like um ah, not really then she's like hey this is how you girl girls get kidnapped anyway so then um right before that she's like yeah she told me that please know the place uh, a week before or the day before not on the day yeah lesson learned and yeah she the guy decided to take me first ask the girl if like yeah i could take a climb the girl's like thank god she was fine with that she was cool kind and then she's like yeah no problem and then i was like okay thank you thank you lord because we've been waiting here for like two hours and i eventually um go in and then the guy was like oh you're so beautiful and stuff like that and then i was like thank you then he's like okay i want to introduce you to someone the um co-owner of the agency is like oh we spoke i was like oh okay and then he was very friendly and then he's like i hope to work with you and then i'm like oh okay me too uh, this is exciting and then he was telling me all about the agency and stuff like that and then yeah eventually i'm um, going to the boardroom for the interview and the guys asking me well, tell me about yourself <sighs> I'm like, what? What? Uh, about myself huh okay um i like food <laughs> uh, i like watching people eat food um so then i could see on his, on his face i was like okay okay go like this is he's not interested in that he's interested obviously and like in my experience about modeling and why i like modeling and stuff like that so then i told him my um my modeling experience and yeah i told him everything uh, why i like modeling and things like that so he was quite impressed he was like impressed like okay i like your what i like your confidence then i was like okay thank you but i'm really nervous and then he's like oh you shouldn't have told me that because yeah now yeah she anyways and then yeah the interview was done and then he's like okay i want to see well he first asked me what do you know about the agency and that time i'm like um i follow you guys on instagram does that count and then he looks at me he's like um, okay um, he gave me that look like the look of um okay okay and then i was like yeah i kind of know 10 percent about you guys at that time i'm nervous and then the guy was like okay 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 um he told me everything about the agency and stuff like that and i was actually very shocked because they are very big they're huge and yeah and then he's like um i want to see you in front of the camera and then we went to the studio and girl messed up girl messed up so before the interview the week, a week before it the interview he gave me a script like he gave me a script to practice it's like an ad script and yeah i can i i i, I practiced but like i knew the lines i mean as soon as i got to stand in front of the camera everything went <laughs> yeah and then yeah um yeah i messed up in front of the camera i kept on laughing to the point of the guy just sitting down and holding his face he's like mm, mm, is this girl serious or what anyways yeah i kept him laughing and then eventually was like, okay let's 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 go back to the boardroom and we went back to the boardroom and then and then he's like um i'm gonna be honest with you that's when i knew i knew i'm like mm -mm. anyways he's like, i'm gonna be honest with you um you uh you need a lot of training you need um first of all you didn't come prepared you don't you don't take us serious and um yeah you like you, you need to practice you need to practice to be you need to practice in front of the camera a lot a lot and then i was like oh, okay okay and then he's like but i really like you 
and I see potential so we're gonna give you a second chance and then I was like for real and yeah I was excited I was like okay okay cool okay we can take the second chance and we will obviously go for the second chance and be prepared the second time I go for this interview and yeah that's a uh, shame that's how I it's it's not really like rejection rejection but it's yeah it's it's 90% rejection the 10% I was given a second chance so I'm going to take a second chance and maybe I don't know if I'm gonna mess it up or what so yeah that was that that, that that's that that's how I learned my lesson that's how I learned to yeah to be prepared the next time I go for an interview for a modeling interview obviously like the what I saw is that you need to look presentable you need to look professional you you mustn't look desperate like look like show that um there are other agencies out there that like that are willing to work with you and stuff like that and do your research before you go there like do a lot of research research on the agency that you're going to to want to sign up with um know the people that work there and yeah because the one they'll ask you why you want to sign up with them like what is the reason why do you want them and stuff like that because they asked me and i couldn't answer that because i actually don't know them i actually don't know who they are well i know who they are but not like who they are who they really really are so yeah and dress well dress well if yeah dress. yeah that's like a huge um point if i can put it that way because uh, your first impression counts it counts it really matters like really really matters anyways that's that uh, thank you guys so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe but if you're new welcome welcome to the purchase gang yes can i just say this is my second video on youtube i hope i'm gonna be consistent and make more videos thank you so much for watching peace out and god bless